Okay, now, word has it the New York Giants has fired coach Ben McAdoo and fired the general manager too. Now, I don't know the name of the general manager, but uh, all I can say is that both men got their pink slips and, or walking papers, as they call it, in the workplace and got fired. And just as well, because the Giants were having a losing season and a lot of players were getting injured. But of course, you can't blame the players because it's the plays that the coaches uh, design for the players to execute, which causes them to get injured in the first place or causes a quarterback to get benched, like, for instance, Eli Manning and Odie, Odell Beckham Jr., got injured because of the coach of the place he directed and you got to put heat on the coach and the general manager for even managing the whole team for to a losing season and it all comes down to this business in a business if a company doesn't uh, improve profitability profitability they have no choice but to fire the CEO and the management that's just how it is in sports and in business. If your company doesn't profit, the CEO has to step down. And in this case with the New York Giants, the coach and the general manager stepped down and handed, got handed their pink slips. So it'll be interesting to see what happens next season. And they have to plan for next season. They can't plan things right now because the NFL season is just about over. We're in about, they're in the 14th week of the NFL. And um, it, hardly make, it hardly makes sense to get a coach for a long-term uh, long plan. Coach for, I mean, sorry, coach for a short-term plan. Or a coach to coach teams temporarily. Long-term plan is needed. And they have to look out for next season. And that's it.